Green Inferno. This movie was set to release on September 5th, 2014, but due to difficulties with the production company Worldview Entertainment, we had to wait over a year for this movie to then be released in limited theaters. Luckily for me, I was finally able to see it, but not so lucky for those that live nowhere near one of those limited theaters. Since the long-awaited release of The Green Inferno, I have seen many negative reviews. I think that it's possible that many people's view on it has been soiled by the time it took to finally be released. But enough with the politics of it. Let's get down to the movie and see if it was worth the wait, or if it really is as bad as the critics say it is. The Green Inferno is about a group of protesters that set off from their comfy college life to go into the Amazon jungle to stop deforestation and protect indigenous tribes and wildlife. However, while they are there, their plane goes down in the jungle and their lives are then threatened by the very tribe they went there to protect. This movie is paying homage to the 1979 horror movie Cannibal Holocaust, which carried a very similar plotline, being stuck in the jungle with a cannibalistic tribe. In fact, Cannibal Holocaust was originally written under the working title of Green Inferno. And also just like Cannibal Holocaust, the Green Inferno used real indigenous people to play the tribe in the movie. The gore effects in the movie are some of the best I have ever seen, and this is a must-see for any gorehound. There will be blood, and lots of it. Also, the acting in the Green Inferno was pretty damn good. I don't really have any complaints with it. But what I do have complaints with is the fact that some of the things that happen in the Green Inferno are completely ridiculous and out of left field. Like some of the humor in the movie feels out of place and just thrown in for the sake of shock value or for the hell of it. Minor spoiler, there is a fapping scene that feels so out of place that it brought me out of the movie, and I couldn't figure out why the hell Eli Roth would have put that in there. It just doesn't make sense! But all that being said, was the Green Inferno worth the wait? No it wasn't. But was it as bad as people have been saying? No it wasn't that either. The Green Inferno lands somewhere in the middle. It was fairly good, but it just had some parts that didn't sit right with me. But I still recommend you give it a watch if you are a fan of horror movies. This has been Doughboy with Hardcore Academy, and peace out.